welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time. I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that we almost missed a flight to my Hindu. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in knowing what happened and how we managed to get there and how we almost didn't get there, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. So me and my bridesmaids went to Nice in the south of France for my Hindu back in 2019. Um, we went the weekend before my wedding just because one of my bridesmaids, my best friend, she was coming from Hong Kong and um, she wouldn't be able to come to Europe for Hindu and then come again in a few months for my wedding. So um, I decided to do my Hindu literally like four days before my wedding. So I said to the girls, let's not do anything too crazy. Let's go for a nice chill pampering uh, weekend away rather than some crazy party weekend. So our flight was um, Friday afternoon. So it wasn't like an early morning flight and it wasn't a nighttime flight either. It was just like in the middle of the day, like three, 4 p.m. flight. Um, from Stansted. So there was eight of us going all together, um, seven of us from the UK and um, one of my best friends, she is um, French, so she already lives in Paris. So she was kind of come down and meet us in Nice. So from the UK, there were seven of us traveling out to Nice. Um, so on the day of the flight, my friend Tash from Hong Kong had arrived in the UK Early in the morning at like 7 a.m. she got to my house. So um, from my house, me, my sister, my friend Tash from Hong Kong who just landed that morning and my other friend Cav were making our way to the airport together. So the four of us made our way to Stansted. And then um, my family friends, Naba and Naveen, who are sisters, they live in London. So they made their way separately to um, the airport to meet us there. And then finally, my niece, um, Nimmi, she lives somewhere in like North London. So um, her parents were giving her a lift to the airport. So she was also gonna meet us at the airport. So um, we got there in good time. So. The four of us from my house and um, Nubba and Naveen from London all got there at good time. We all met up with each other, we found each other, we made sure we have everything we needed. Um, the first thing that went wrong was that my niece Nimmi was running crazy late because there was major, major traffic on um, the roads and it was difficult for her to get to the airport. Her dad was like literally changing routes like left, right and centre trying to find the quickest way. But the difficulty is when you're on a dual carriageway or a motorway, you can't really just get off anywhere. You have to wait for the next actual exit. So she was running late, but we weren't too worried at that point because we still had a bit of time before um, before we were boarding our flight. So we thought, okay, it's fine. We're not going to stress. We've got plenty of time. You know, we all already checked in online as well. So we didn't need to do any of that. We just need to go through security and go to the gate. So um, we waited patiently for her to get here. And then it got to like the time where they started boarding our flight and Nimmi still wasn't here. So we were like, okay, what do we do? We can't just leave a person behind. So um, we'll wait. They were calling our flight to go board. Um, they announced our gate. Our, uh, the passengers for our flight were already boarding. Um, and we were like, okay, let's slowly make our way towards where security is so we won't go through security we'll just wait by security so that when she comes she can just leg it to security and we can go through together because there's no point all of us running with our bags afterwards so um we all went to where security is but we didn't go through yet we thought okay let's just wait a bit more longer a bit longer she'll be here any moment and then um luckily in the last moment she got here and she literally ran and we ran through security um luckily none of us had any liquids or any of all that stuff that they stop you for so we went straight through and we were literally like the last people to get on the flight so we get on the flight now we just made it on and um, the pilot makes an announcement saying that um, there's a little bit of a delay in taking off. We're going to take off shortly. I'll keep you updated, but we're not taking off at the moment. At that point, we were like, it's fine. Like there can be delays. It doesn't matter. We didn't have too much planned for the evening anyway. Once we got there, we were kind of just going to chill and go out for dinner that night. Um, so we were like, we're not in any rush. Um, on the other side, my friend Cami, who was already in France, she we called her and let her know, like, look, our flight's been delayed. We haven't taken off yet. Um, we'll keep you updated on where we are. 
and she was saying how the weather in Nice and in um, France in general that day was very bad so um, when she checked on like arrivals and uh, departures a lot of flights were being cancelled arriving to France and traveling around France as well um, she was saying that her flight so far seemed okay she hadn't got on her flight yet her flight was a little bit later than ours so she was um, making her way to the airport slowly in good time and so far for her flight they said that it's absolutely fine it's going to be running um, but she told us to keep an eye out because a lot of flights were being cancelled um, so we were waiting on the aeroplane a good 20 minutes went by and we still hadn't taken off um, we flew with the Ryanair on the way there and I think we flew with EasyJet on the way back. So yeah, the Ryanair pilot again, he just said that, you know, after about half an hour, he was like, okay, there's bad weather in um, France. So we're not sure if the flight is going to go ahead. We're still waiting for some signal or something that all clear so that we can take off and go. But for the moment, we are not moving anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Um, we are going to just wait it out for a little bit. So we're not departing anytime soon. So at that point, we were like, oh, crap, like, are we even going to be able to go? Because if Cami's saying that the weather's bad in Paris and in France and flights are being cancelled there, then they just told us here that they're going to wait it out and they're waiting for some weather signal. But it's due to the weather that we hadn't left yet. It wasn't a delay, anything to do with the plane or the runway being free or whatever that kind of stuff, it was literally down to the weather, which was the same issue in France already. So at that point we were like, okay, we don't know if we're gonna be able to fly out. Like, we don't know what's gonna happen. Do we think of a backup? Do we just go with the fact that we are going to Nice and we're gonna go or, because there's no guarantee. Like at that point, we weren't even sure if the flight was gonna take off. We weren't sure if um, they were gonna turn around and say to us, sorry, but the flight's been canceled, so everybody needs to get off. We just didn't know what was to come. So at that point, we all got together and we were like, okay, what should we do? Like, should we start looking for Airbnbs and stuff in the UK and we can just go somewhere in the UK and then maybe Cami can get a flight out to the UK rather than us going to France. So we're all huddled around, like trying to decide what do we do from here? We were looking at Airbnbs, if there's anywhere we can go like Brighton or Dover or Cornwall or somewhere, anywhere in the UK as a backup plan. Um, and I would say a full hour and a half had passed. Yeah, at least a solid hour and like 15 minutes had passed at that point and we still hadn't taken off. Um, the weather in the UK was fine. It was a bit drizzly, but it wasn't raining like crazy and it wasn't super bad weather because it was like july so um we had decent weather on our side um it was the issue of the weather in france so um we updated cami as well and we we're like look we don't know what's going on we don't know if we're gonna come or not at that point she was already at the airport um and she was saying that she was waiting for her flight and there was loads of cancellations going on around her so she wasn't sure about her flight like if if her flight was gonna be canceled or what was happening. But at that point in time, her flight said that it was still gonna go ahead as planned. So she said that on her side, she's kind of all right at the minute with her flight. Whereas we were on the, air, uh, on the airplane waiting for an hour and a half and we still hadn't moved. Then eventually after about an hour and 40 minutes total, um, the pilot said that we've been given the all clear and we are gonna take off now. So, um, we were like, oh yes, thank God, like, okay, it's happening. We can cancel anything back up that we thought about. We're going to Nice. So um, we took off and we got to Nice, obviously a lot later than we had planned, but it was fine because we didn't have anything planned when we got there. So as soon as we landed, I think it was like an hour and a half, two hour, two hour, 50 minutes. I don't know, like a really short flight, like no more than two hour flight. Uh, when we landed in Nice, um, we contacted Cami straight away to find out where she was. So on her side, what ended up happening while we were flying there was that her flight got cancelled. So her flight to Nice to come and meet us got cancelled. Um, she was supposed to be flying out from Paris. That wasn't happening anymore. Um, she was just like, right, I'm going to have to get an early morning flight on Saturday morning and come and join you guys. And I'll just have to miss out on Friday evening. 
Um, we were so bummed about that and I was like, no, why? The whole point was that we're all together from the get go. Like, why is this happening? Um, there must be another way around it. So she tried to look for a bunch of flights. There was no more flights flying from Paris to uh, Nice that evening. Um, so we had taken it as, okay, we're just gonna have to meet her on Saturday morning. She found a few flights for early morning Saturday. So she said she'll just take one of those flights. Obviously I was super bummed, but I was like, okay, better late than never. So hopefully she can get on that flight tomorrow morning and we can start the day together at like, you know, 11 o'clock heavily and she'll get here in that time and then we can go out and do whatever we want to do. So we didn't actually do too much um, that evening. We just went and got some food and kind of just got ourselves situated and comfortable um, in our Airbnb. And the girls were like, oh, you know, let's not stay up too late tonight so we can get up nice and early. Um, to make the most of the day tomorrow. So um, we called it a night at like 11 o'clock or midnight or whatever it was. And we were like, okay, we're gonna hopefully, in my in my mind, I was like, hopefully Cammy's gonna get a flight out first thing tomorrow morning. And um, we'll see her then when she gets here and we'll be together from then onwards. Um, little did I know that um, she had been talking to the other bridesmaids and she managed to get a flight um, that night but she had to have her aunt drive her all the way four hours to um, another city in France. I can't remember which one, but it was a four hour drive from um, from Paris, but she managed to find a flight from an airport four hours away. So it was so nice of her aunt to drive her all the way down to the airport. She hopped on that flight and she got here into the Airbnb in Nice by like 5 a.m. on Saturday morning. So. Really, she didn't miss out on anything. We didn't even do anything that night anyway. So um, I had no clue. I was fast asleep in my bed. The others all knew. And um, I'll insert a clip here somewhere in a second. You'll see they came and she surprised me. She came in and she surprised me at like 6 a.m. in the morning um, that she got here. And I was literally so shocked. And I was just so relieved that um, we managed to all finally be in one place at the same time all together so we can continue for the rest of the weekend but yeah so that is the story of how um we basically almost missed our flight and had so much drama with our flight and flying out to nice for my hen do the weekend before my wedding it was just so stressful and we really thought that we weren't going to end up making it out there because who sits on an hour and a half for on a plane without even moving even an inch we literally sat there we didn't move we were like okay we don't know what's going on are we even going to go today um especially hearing that loads of flights are being cancelled in um france as well we were like oh well this is not happening you know it took us so long well it took me and my sister so long to even convince my mum to allow us to even leave the country four days before my wedding because she was just not having it she was like just go somewhere in the uk you left it too late you should have gone like if you want to go abroad you should have gone a few months ago you know where if any emergency happens you've got months before the wedding to come but you left it late i don't really want you guys leaving the country but we had to fight for her to let us leave the country and um actually go away for my hindu because obviously she was not having it that close to the wedding but yeah, that is basically what happened. We all eventually managed to get there together in one piece um, and enjoy our weekend there, but it almost didn't happen. Um, so that was very stressful, along with the fact that the wedding week itself is already very stressful, but I'm so glad that we got to get away and have a good time and um, make the most of it. So yeah that is basically it for this story time it's quite a quick one because um most of the drama happened when we were waiting to go when we got there we had a great time so it was just mainly the whole getting out there that almost didn't happen basically so yeah if you enjoyed this story time um be sure to leave me a massive like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave me a comment below to let me know if you've had any instances where you were going on a flight and it didn't happen or it got cancelled and yeah other than that i will catch you guys on my next video bye <laughs> home robot no <laughs>